Continuing on, what about the policies related to what we do with an employee once we've hired the employee while he or she works for our organization? Job descriptions, great place to set forth in the policy. Now, your job descriptions could actually live in the security policy or it could be subordinate to, it could be a separate document. A job description would state roles and responsibilities. The roles that a particular employee must fulfill, such as manager, IT manager, system administrator, security administrator, and the responsibilities that go along with those roles. Again, you want to bundle these in as much as possible to your security policy so that it's documented and it has been, been agreed upon and agreed to at a very high level in the management structure.